Raja and welcome back to our channel Middleware Tech. In the previous video, we were learn about the JSON to XML data converter. So in this video, we are going to learn about the XML to JSON data converter. So for that, firstly create an integration flow, add integration flow, give it a name as XML to JSON, then copy this one, paste it as a description and add. Then go to the integration flow. Firstly, edit it first. Then select HTTP as a sender. Go to the configuration. Firstly, add the address as XML to JSON. Then go to this tab. Select converter. Select our XML to JSON converter and paste it here. After that, go to the configuration and here firstly disable this use namespace mapping and for the primary result, we can keep it as it is and save. Then deploy it, yes and ok. So our flow is successfully deployed, then go to the deployment status. Navigate to the manage integration content. And here we just require to copy the endpoints, but the endpoints are not seen here. So for that, just refresh the page. So here you can find after refresh, our endpoints are there. So just copy it, then go to the postman. Here we just duplicate this JSON to XML. Then just give a name as XML to JSON. And paste the endpoint which we can copy from integration suite. Then go to the authorization. Here as we copied this JSON to XML so our authorization is already set. Go to the body. Same here also as we are copying it from JSON to XML so the payload are in XML format so delete it. So we require the payload in XML format so for that go to the text file. In the previous video I also talk about this text file so in this video also I am just sharing this text file in the description in the link of uh, github. So here we require the target payload as a source payload because we convert our XML data into the JSON format. So copy the XML, then go here and paste. After that just save it and send. So here you can clearly see that our XML payload are successfully converted into JSON format. Here you can see that the empty customer as a root name is also come here. So if you don't want it, then just go to the integration flow, go to the configurations. And here you can find one option that suppress JSON root element. So just select it, then save it again, deploy, ok. Successfully deployed, then go to the postman and send it again. And here you can find that the root element is removed from here. As you can find that this JSON element is in array format, but it's not in array format. If you require the proof, then just delete this row and send it again. So here you can clearly find that these curly braces are here. This curly braces, it means that the JSON uh, this JSON data is considered as an element of the JSON format but we don't require the data in the element format we require the data in the array format so to consider the whole JSON as an array we require to go here and just select streaming if you want every element in the JSON format as an individual array then just select all and save it first then deploy it successfully deployed then go to the postman send it again 
So now here you can clearly see that each element in the JSON format is considered as an array. If you don't want each element to be considered as an array, if you just want the row element is considered as an array, then again go to the configuration and here select the specific one means we just require the specific one to consider as an array then add it here whatever you want so we want the row element to be considered as an array so firstly select this empty customer go here slash and paste after that again slash and paste the row then save it deploy Here you can see the validation is failed. It is because we are not specifying the namespace. So for that go to the runtime configuration and here firstly specify the namespace. For that go to the text file and just select the namespace from here and paste it. Then again save and deploy. So it is successfully deployed then go again to the postman and send it check it once so here you can find that the row element is considered as an array so in that way our xml to json data converter is work but unfortunately it has some disadvantages as like that it only supports the json with a single root element it means that if the json has multiple members in the root object or an array with more than one value in the root then it throws an exception the second disadvantage is, is that it treats all the values as string regardless of the actual data type means if whatever the data format is in, in the source payload then also it consider it as a string means if we have the boolean values then it is always enclosed in the quotes and if uh, it has a decimal values or double values then also it is considered as a string element then the third disadvantage is that the streaming is always required to generate the json array for child element means without streaming all the child elements will be output as a individual json object instead of array so for that the streaming is always required so as like that so many disadvantages for this xml to json converter so if you don't want this manual means if you don't want this pre built uh, converter then you can use the groovy script also as an alternative so about all groovy script we can learn in the next videos so if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe this channel and thank you for watching